Where is Lions, oh. Colorado? Do they have lions? Are they mountain lions? How come I've never heard of it? Where is that? With a population of only 2,100 people, Lions residents, they love these mountains, art, and history. So in this video, we'll explore what to do in Lions when you visit, and we'll talk about the housing market and this lovely Boulder community. So let's get started. My name is Carla Howell with Boulder County Homes and my contact information is below. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions. You can call, text or email me or leave a comment below. I would love to answer all your questions. So Lyons is nestled and is known as the foot of the Rocky Mountains where natural beauty surrounds you and where its artistic spirit and fun outdoor activities come together. Whether you're thinking of visiting or of a unique place to call home, Lyons has something for everyone. Surrounded by the mountains, the St. Vrain Creek, and bright red sandstone cliffs, it is jaw-dropping beautiful. And with hiking, biking, rock climbing, fishing, and kayaking in your own backyard, what else could you want? Lyons, located in Boulder County, gives you access to the beauty of mountain living, but still with all the conveniences that Longmont has to offer just 15 minutes away, including five large grocery stores, a Whole Foods and Sprouts Market, natural grocers, and we have a Sam's Club, Walmart, Costco, two super Walmarts, and a super Target. And we still have other small local eateries, shops, and of course, breweries. I really can't think of a better location. Lyons comes rich with history as part of Boulder County's growth during the gold rush of the 1800s. Starting in 1860, families from the East Coast came and settled the foothills of Lyons with ranches and farms. The town of Lyons was founded in 1880 by Edward S. Lyon, who purchased 160 acres after he noticed the potential to quarry out the red sandstone outcroppings surrounding town. So Lyon platted the town in 1881 and it was incorporated into Boulder County 10 years later. The large red sandstone mountains, they date back 200 million years and it's considered to be the hardest sandstone in the world. Its unique red or salmon color is just beautiful. Between 1910 and 1912, the cement industry killed the sandstone business. However, you'll find many buildings in Boulder and on the campus of the University of Colorado standing strong today with beautiful sandstone from Lyons. The sandstone business was revived in the 1930s when red sandstone started to be used more for a decorative rock. And as of today, it is a booming industry with sandstone being shipped worldwide. Lions, with its artistic soul, attracts artists from around the world. With these notable artists who live in Lions, there is no shortage of art projects in town. From writers and poets and painters and sculptors, you cannot help but be inspired to bring out your own artistic talent. Lions participates in Boulder County's open studio tour held every single year. Several homeowners volunteer their homes to host one or more local artists. And these homes, they are opened up to the public for viewing and purchasing beautiful, beautiful artwork. This tour is published in each town and it's a very popular event for all. So bring your credit card or your checkbook because you will be amazed and ready to take home a one of a kind piece of art. Whether it's pottery, painting, photography, or my favorite, jewelry. The beautiful St. Vrain River runs through town, so you will find kayaking and intertubing a weekly event in the summer. And of course, there's fishing all year round. And if you want to go deeper into the Rockies, there are campgrounds only about 30 minutes up the hill. With an altitude of just over 5,300 feet above sea level, similar to Boulder, 
you will see cooler summer temperatures than in the Boulder Valley and a little bit more snow in the winter than other cities at lower elevations. For more fun activities, you'll want to visit the Lions Redstone Museum, once the town's schoolhouse built in 1881. It is now dedicated to showcasing the history of Lions. Inside, you'll find three exhibition rooms, a research library, a bookstore, and a gift shop. For overnight accommodations in Lyons, you only have two options. There is RV camping right in town at the popular Laverne Johnson Park with full hookup sites. It's available all year round, and this includes tent camping. Camping is always the best from April through October, weather permitting. And I'll leave a link below to the RV site in Lyons. The second option is to book your stay at the We Casa Tiny House Resort right in town. Super charming. This is a special resort, so to check out their website, I'll make sure to leave a link to their website so you can explore it and make your reservation. If you prefer more accommodation choices for your visit to Lyons, then Longmont has you covered. There are plenty of hotels, and if you want to park your RV in Longmont, just head over to the Boulder County Fairgrounds right off of Hover Street, and it's very, very reasonable. You can't go hungry in Lyons with its 11 eateries and, of course, breweries and coffee shops. And with Lyons Local Grocery Market, there's plenty to choose from. As you come close to downtown on Main Street, they are all lined up and waiting for you. Colorado loves their Mexican food. Beginning with La Mariposa Restaurant, you'll find decor of traditional Mexican colors and flair. And the choices on the menu, they won't disappoint you either. Julie's Thai Kitchen, with a long list of menu choices, it's a showstopper. The Dairy Bar is where nothing on the menu is over $10. Good old-fashioned burgers, fries, and ice cream treats, the menu will surprise you. Next on the list is the Diner Bar. You must come hungry with an old-fashioned diner decor and diner food, but with a unique twist you will not leave hungry. And if you want to eat breakfast for lunch or dinner, they've got you covered. Moho Taqueria, open for dinner and locations in Lions and Boulder, takes traditional Mexican food to a new level. Fresh ingredients with a twist. Smokin' Dave's Barbecue, what is not to love about this restaurant? With three additional locations in Longmont, Denver, and Estes Park, and the winner of the best of the best barbecue restaurants in America? You've got to try it out. Oscar Blue's Grill and Brew started in Lyons in 1997, expanded to Longmont to become one of the largest and most popular breweries with live music on the weekends. The menu is amazing with traditional food and a little twist of Cajun style. The Rock Garden comes with entertainment and events, so don't be surprised to find a yoga class going on on a nice Saturday morning and movies on the lawn. Marigold is open from Wednesday through Sunday for dinner only. This is for that special experience of Northern Italian and Southern French cuisine. The menu changes with the seasons. Are you craving a good old pizza? Then head over to the Pizza Bar with many choices of pizzas, cannolis, and sandwiches. The last stop on the road is Main Stage Brewing with a full menu of hand-tossed pizzas, appetizers, calzones, and more. You won't leave hungry. With a full lineup of music and entertainment, this will become one of your favorites. If you like bluegrass or folk music, then plan your visit for August and head over to Lyon's famous Planet Bluegrass venue. These musical festivals are one of the most popular events on the planet, so make sure to plan ahead because tickets sell out fast. Are you charmed yet? Do you want to know what home prices are like here in Lyon's? Well, let's take a look and you can revisit these listings with the link below in the description box.
Boulder County is full of surprises, and you will never run out of fun things to do. The mountains and lions, they whisper to your soul. Many folks come and stay, and some travel through, but no one ever, ever forgets the magic of this special place in Boulder County. Thanks for watching. Please reach out with any questions or put them in the comments. I would love to help answer them. And don't forget to watch more videos below in the description box. And stay tuned for more fun videos and I'll see you on the next one.